In the vicinity of Zelo, the enemy had been preparing its defence since January 1945. Before the assault on the 14th of April, Soviet rifle battalions launched an offensive reconnaissance after a 20-minute artillery strike. This allowed them to advance up to five kilometres in certain areas and surmount the densest minefields. The continuity of the enemy's defence was broken down, creating the necessary prerequisites for a successful swarm attack. On the morning of the 16th of April, two hours before dawn, the firing began. The main forces of the 1st Belarusian and the 1st Ukrainian fronts initiated the offensive that, two weeks later, would end with the capture of Berlin and the surrender of the German army. Alexei Kuznetsov's squad successfully broke through the front line, travelling deeper into enemy territory and in two days reached the area around Lake Heinersdorf and the intelligence fusion centre which was compiling data on the actions of all enemy agents in the Soviet Union. Here they were to find the list of agents that Soviet counterintelligence needed so badly. Hey, Captain, where's the plane? Captain, are there many documents? Too many to carry. Where has it been? I wonder as well. Sergeant Grishenko was wounded during an incident with a German patrol, so we headed for the destination behind schedule. Now we must obtain medication and administer aid to the sergeant before proceeding. This cluster of buildings is a German saboteur training center. It is hidden from view in the mountains, and all contact is by the hydroplane you've just seen. All supplies are delivered by air as well. Agent lists are kept somewhere there and I believe that local officers are bound to know their exact location. There are frequent patrols in this area, so keep it quiet. Get the documents and return. Come on, guys. Grishenko was hit hard. Let's scout the area. Perhaps the Germans have some medical supplies. We must leave him here while we search. Okay. But try to stay silent. The Germans don't need to know we're here. The base is heavily guarded, but we have no choice. We have to find a way inside. Perhaps we should check around that half-ruined house. A few Germans won't pose a problem.
Another two behind. Excellent. Just what the injured need. Yes. We need to get back to our wanted. Thanks. I'm much better now. At least I won't be slowing you down anymore. Let's head for the base.
One of us must reach the base, so we need to decide now who it's going to be. If anybody wants to volunteer, let him take the pliers and go. The others will move closer to the plane and await here. Look, there goes the officer. He must know the location of all documents. One move and you're dead. Where is the archive with all the documentation? Tell me. There are no documents here. Please don't shoot. The archive was taken away by plane last night. I don't know where. Maybe Falster. Find the pilot. He must know. Okay. Wait here. We'll be back if it turns out you're lying.
The Germans have already removed the documents. I think we should follow them. Move towards the plane. Unfortunately, my group was too late. Due to the threat of a Soviet attack on the Zelo defense line, the Abwehr couriers had evacuated all important documents. Now our mission required us to move to Falster Island in the Baltic Sea, home to the secret German naval base. We needed to intercept the valuable cargo at all costs before its trail was lost forever in Atlantic waters. Having captured the German hydroplane, we set out towards the northeast, into the unknown, towards our last battle. 